Yeah, I wonder that. Do they explain if there is a way to stop this summoning? Spawner next round. They just say that. I'm just checking because, you know, if you're playing the physical board, physical game, you have all the details about how everything works. But I assume here, no. I assume it's like generic stuff, yeah. Okay, so... Okay, I'm going to ignore these two doors. Not worth it for sure. I will try to push as fast as possible to see if I can open these ones and see what is there. So at least even if I don't win again, I will have that knowledge for next turn. Um, now I need to remember what I changed here. Let me quickly check. Uh, yeah, I got this one, right? So I can pierce and this one to just kill an enemy, period. So we can use this one like close to the end, I, I think. Um, I know we got the familiar here, so yeah, we need to summon these ASAP so we can take significant advantage with it. Uh, if we are here, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm thinking about nuking these guys right away. So if I stay here, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Oh, I can nuk three of them. It's just, <laughs> it's tough because. I I don't think you want to burn the cards so early, so I'll not do that right away. Um, I think I go for this one. So I would like to create an element before she goes, so we get some extra damage there. I remember when I was looking through this stuff that I think I want to put this guy with augment that gives you debuffs on the enemy. Yeah, this one. So I want to enable these early. Uh, the problem is if I enable right now, that's one less attack I do. Yeah, so doing this stun is very valuable. At least I can CC one guy, but I need to put the uh, right here. So I would CC this guy, and then if I do this, I actually waste it. So I think I should actually move in. Or I can get invisible, and then next turn I move in and I enable the buff. I think that's not a bad one. Oh wait, no, 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 what am I doing? Here it's a, a bottom stun, so I need to do something on top. Ooh, I could actually mobilize the other guy. Crap. I need to think this properly because last time we lost this scenario because I don't think I plan stuff well enough. We have a trap here. Mm. I could definitely do the stun and lock the other guy. I generate wind, ice, then then she can use. So these guys will get CCs. So I think the brutes will want to go this way. So we definitely want to move forward and smack them on the face. I should enable these early, but... We can definitely use these movements, and... Ooh. That's not too bad, right? That I could damage both of them. Of course, if I had wind, I would do a bit more. But I can generate wind and consume it, consume it on the same round. So. But I could definitely generate it. So I can use it on the round afterwards. So this round I would move in. And I 
would push one of them to the trap. Just a second. Um, there is a little trap there, that's one damage, not much, but better than nothing. I could also do this, get in front of them and enable retaliate too. That's not bad at all. That's four damage to them. Let's do it. Let's go. God, these things are always tricky. Shit. That's not great because they are not going to attack, which means the retaliate would will be useless. Uh, archers are going to move but attack very poorly, and the shaman is going to move in ill. Damn, what a waste, because now the stun is irrelevant here, because they are not going to attack. I'm thinking if it's better to just get then close to them. And attack normally. Well, no, because I get XP from this. A lot of XP, actually. So, yeah. That's not bad. Okay, I'm going to speed up because that's four guys doing the same thing. Well, three guys. Okay, so now enabling retaliates absolutely useless. <laughs> Damn. And if I attack them, I get screwed anyway, because then I get damage back. I could use the boots, get in here, and smack this guy on the face. That would definitely be more valuable. Let's go for it. And then I can look back and attack the other two. There we go. And now we just flat out simple attack on this guy. Ooh, nice. Now he will heal him, I think. But what can we do? Now here, I want to summon the ally. I don't want it to be too close. Burn. And I will attack while using the ice because we want to win. And I'm going to attack the three of them, but they have a shield. Is it worth it? I don't think so because they have a shield. Wait, which one do I want to attack? Let me think. This one has no shield, so there is more value in attacking this one. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. That's true. He's going to heal the archer, I assume. That's okay. So many guys on the table, it's insane. Okay, so this guy attacks at a range of two with three, so he will attack either of these. Well, I don't know which one he will prefer, but let me see. This is number one. Oh no, he doesn't have the number. Shoot. Oh, that's a five. 
That's six, so he will attack this one. So that's three damage on that one, if it's lucky. Uh, now this card here, burning it in this direction, would be really good. One, two, three, four, so we need all of this. That would be like perfection. I get, I need, but I would need to move there to be perfect. And I don't think I have any movement on top, right? No, I don't. Oh, that's a shame. Because from here it's not ideal. One, two, three, four, yeah, that's not ideal. Okay, let's look at the rat first. The rat is going to take care of these guys. I want I want to simply move and then enable this but I want to do it on this guy so I need to move three uh, but I obviously don't want to burn the cards I mean this is not bad I move three Oh yeah, but this is the one I want to use the top part. Shit. Which boots do I have? Oh, okay, so that's... That's perfect then. Yeah, and then I will be... I will make myself invisible, but normally. By using the cloak. So, we go here. Deep of this guy. Get invisible. And we are ready for the next turn. No, you my friends. There we go. We want him to pierce these guys. Now, since the shaman moved in, I'm actually more interested to eat on that uh, in that direction. Ooh, and I can shield myself, so that's actually ideal because I'm sure I'm going to be targeted. No. Oh, can we get the most value? From her. I don't want to burn the cards yet. Um, I can definitely use this one and this one. Yeah, I'll do it that way. That's absolutely fine. She will not get targeted, so it's fine. Oh, they're going to retaliate again. Okay, I'm earlier than all of them, that's... Yeah. The archers is, are going to eat for very low, the damn shaman is going to eat again. That's nice, it's very nice. So here... Yeah, let's attack this one. And... We attack again. We will not use this because we want to win for the big guy. Oh, that was a great hit. I will not go stealth. So, let's move with the boots. Here. Okay, now I'm wondering which one I want to debuff, but I think I go for this one. So maybe next turn I can kill both of them. If I had gone for this one, he would be dead. Now, what will the archers do? So he will do one damage to our little rat. We don't mind, I will not go stealth because these guys are not going to attack. Right? They are going to be in retaliation mode. Exactly, so I'm not going to use the cloak. Now oh, here. Here is the important part. That's going to be a... I hope this eats... Oh, look at the damage. Please, be on my side. <laughs> don't believe I missed. Uh, 
Uh, let's shield up. I don't need to move. I'm going to speed up their turns. It's going to be the same thing for all of them. So. we know weird why did he move to heal himself that was strange fine and that's exactly what we expected absolutely fine as well now I would really like to take down those two, so I can go for the arch. Should I summon the rat? So I can eat in wounds for one. Let me check what damage I have on bottom. I could basically force the archer to, to kill the guy in front of me, but... Attack to push, whatever, so I think I will use that on this one, and he should die, because he will be completely debuffed. Uh, and I use the wounds on the other guy. here I this is tricky because I don't want to burn the cards already oh I have such low initiative actually <laughs> I could just move forward and use this I'm going on a low initiative so Yeah, I'm going to use one of these as 100%. I will see which one I will burn, depending on the the map is by that turn. Now here, uh, in a perfect world, I would like to kill that shaman. So he stops with the goddamn healing. I could do this and attack both of them. Do I have any attack on bottom? I do. So I could use these to attack one of them. And disarming another one might be a good idea because it might not, I'm in a tough spot. I don't want to shield up right away. I want to wait a bit. But to be honest, if these guys decide get attack turn, I might be might be a bit too much damage, but we'll see. Yeah, I want to go early, so I disarm them. Let's go. So the shaman is going to attack and curse. Good. Move attack. That's not a problem. Ooh, the archers are going to do some decent damage. Okay. That's fine. Is it worth to eat him? No. No, it's not. I can't push him to this trap? Oh. Huh. 
Okay. I guess it's because of the angle or something. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean... Then how much will they move? Move three, so... If I move him, he will just attack that one. I don't want to do that. Oh, I can move him here so he attacks the illusion. How much HP does it have? No, I don't want it to do that. Please eat me, not the illusion. So I still can definitely kill one of them. They have both the same HP, but this guy has muddled, so it's more valuable to kill this guy. Oh, he dies anyway. Because he's wounded now. I will not go invisible, so. I'm forgetting about the scenario quests for each character. Oh. He dead. No problem. Oh no, don't kill it. It's such nice damage there. Please don't kill it. Ooh, that's a lot. Ouch. I think I just lost my scenario quest. I think so. Shoot. Really? I miss? Let me check again. What is my scenario guess with this guy? Can I see now? Not right now. Okay. So, what is the biggest value I can take out of here? I could do this and basically kill all of them. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Boom. Let's hope we are not missing anything. Death. Death. Not death. And we can move one to grab these coins. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, I failed. Shoot. He's in a tough position here. It's a lot of possible damage on coming his way. So, let's focus on the other side first. So... The rats... ...want to kill that archer. That's 100% sure. It's not Kuza. This one will attack the archer. If he's alive by that point. This would not bring me enough value, I don't think. So I could move in, attack for one, so he gets all the damage. And then I could force on the other side someone to attack each other. And he will be debuffed, so that's not too bad. She goes so late. Now here is the problem for sure. He's in a complicated place. With a lot of enemies. <laughs> If it doesn't go early enough, he might I might have to burn some cards. It's too dangerous actually. I need to short rest. If I don't short rest, I think I might end up burning almost all my cards. I think it's oh no. Come on. Okay, whatever. Okay, I need to go early, period. That's not bad. Yeah, we can heal ourselves. 
and or we can enable this and the top cards could be these as well absolutely yeah, yeah. so if you get nuked they get damage and we lose the pot seriously eight Oh no, move 3, that's a lot of damage. This could be a very, very bad round. Oof. Disarm, so... First of all, heal up. We are going to enable our shield here. And we are going to be retaliating the whole round. You are going to move here and attack. Uh, and now you are going to force this guy to attack. This one. Should I recover one of the cards already? No, I have a good round next, so it's okay. But I'm going to go invisible. It's too squishy. I could use this on them. I need to move one forward for this to be perfect. Right? Yeah. One. So, like... I could actually move here, so I, I I will not take the hit from the guy, no, no. So, what's the range? Three. One, two, three. So it should be fine. Yeah, I think so. We'll see. I can always restart. There you go, so that's all of them. It's just too much value to not do it. Okay, I was not expecting to kill the archer. I definitely don't expect to kill the archer. Ah. Yes! Oh, that's so good. We have the mystic ally for one more time. <gasps> now uh, we just need to wait for this guy to survive. You are dead, my friend. We are. Okay, so this guy is dead. The mystic ally will kill him. Here we need to do a short rest, for sure. Mm, definitely not want to lose this one. It's one of the few I don't have to burn to use. Uh, hydro. Oh no. Oh, this is really bad. That's like losing the game bad right there. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, I need to restart the rounds because that's a decision. I completely forgot that uh, we can burn that card. I mean, you can never burn that card with her or you basically... It's like the character is useless. I completely forgot about that. It's one of those little mistakes, like it happened and other things that if I was on the physical game, I would definitely would not do. But here, you know, you look just at the names, you don't really care about the names. 
Because, I mean, you can never lose this, or you lose the possibility to recover everything. So, we need to go early, so our mystic ally kills this guy. That's for sure. No, we want to recover our cards, but I don't think we need to recover them right away. So I want to burn this one then. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I would like to move a little bit forward, maybe. I might do it then, instead of healing. Now, we will do this. We'll see what we'll do with him. Now here, we are on a tricky spot. Uh, in an ideal world, we would like to get some HP back, but we don't have any healing, and our potion is down. So in an even better world, we would like to kill this guy, all these guys. Um, that's two of them, some decent damage. So that's three. That's three as well. I just need to move a little bit to the side to be ideal. The thing is I need to go early. And I can shield myself there and then... Yeah, I think that's the best solution there. Low damage, low damage. He's going to freaking heal them again. Please die. Beautiful. Now... I can either heal him... And attack... Uh, like... One, two... Yeah, two guys. Or I can ignore the healing, move forward, and burst the three of them. Shit. How much damage am I going to do? Oh, okay, it's not much damage, so I think I will go for the movement here. I will move here, right behind him. And now... One, two, three. It's beautiful to see. Come on, don't miss. Yes! Oh! That's so good. No. My only consideration is... I want to open this door to see what is there. <laughs> Oh, I can't? Oh, shit. Because I want to summon the rats to help with these guys here. I guess I would have to move here and heal up a little bit. And then I summon the rats here to help out with these guys. At least he will take a few hits. I don't think I want to recover cards, right? No, because I, I have two locked. Yeah, I need to rest next turn. Now, this changes a bit what we do here, because now I really want to kill this guy. Because I don't want him to heal again. The question is... If I go here, it doesn't work right, right? It needs to be a full line. And this way I only kill this guy. So I can just move here and do it in this direction. Yeah, it's not perfect, but... I mean... Killing this guy is just more important. I hope I don't miss. Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? 
Damn it, he's going to heal back up. Damn, what a bad turn. What a bad turn. He should have died. Okay. That's exactly why I summoned the right there. Oh, and he comes from the right as well. Perfect. That's a huge stack of guys. Okay, so I need to kill these two guys. Pronto. But I don't think it's going to happen. My HP is so low. Uh, okay, so we need to short rest here. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, another one. Okay, never mind. No, my biggest concern is all those guys stacked up there. Uh, but I think I really want to open this door. I can stun one of them, which is a good idea. Uh, it could save me some HP. And I'm going to move in ill Oh, that's another big card. Shit. Ooh, this is good because they are... Right, because they are strengthened. So if I use these, they will do more damage. So I will make him attack and then I will just I will not open the door this turn. Wait. Please write initiative, thank you. Now So if I don't burn these cards and I short rests. Right. Exactly. I can I can lose both of them. A short rest, I get two, and then I still use a ether. And I still get some nice attack before recovering everything. But, but, mm, this shaman man. Fucking hell. Ooh, I'm I'm going to absolutely do that, right? <laughs> but then I cannot attack. But the possibility of uh, not really. They have two damage, right? So that's even if he gets a double, that's four damage. The guy still stays away uh, up. Damn it! So it's actually not worth it there. I actually chose these cards wrongly. Because I can either do the stun or do the other one. I chose the wrong cards there. Yeah, the top the top side of both of them is useless. So I'm going to do the force thing because I think that's out of damage. I will force this one. To attack this one. No, should I recover now? I could get the submissive action. So force them to attack each other again. Next turn, I could do that again. Hmm, not worth it. Damn, I can't believe this guy is going is going to force me to burn cards. Jesus. Yeah, even if I enable this, it's not enough. This asshole, man. I'll burn this one. It's okay. Can I please kill these bastards? Uh, he kind of screwed up my move here. 
So I can either move. Yeah, I can move. Wait, how much are they going to move? Move two. One, two. Okay, so we are fine. Uh, I'm going to move here. Thank you. Finally, a good round. Oh, she won't attack. That's a shame. So they are going to move to... So he's going for the red. He's going for the red as well. And you might go for the blue, but you are too far away. So you might go for the red or for the bigger red. <laughs> the small red or the middle-sized red. Um, I can definitely eat one of them. So I can move here, so I'm not too close. Yeah, I can't. I actually can't. And if I go here, I'm in a bit of danger, right? Not really. Only one of them. How much are you going to eat? For two? I'm going to take that, that risk. Wait, what am I doing? I'm always forgetting if I can. Yes, okay, that's it. Wait, I'm not close enough yet. <gasps> no. No, no, no. Did I miss? I miscounted. It's. I thought it was range 2 attack 3. Sorry, range 3 attack 2. So I can't actually attack them from here. Shit. That's not what I wanted to do. That's 3 damage I could have done there. Damn it! I'm not going to redo because of that. Whatever. I'll try to do it. Ouch. Oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. You bye bye. That was a cheat. Nothing, not many choices there. Short rest, yes. We need to take damage here. Except. So we'll attack and recover cards. That's four. Of, there is four of them there already. I'm forgetting about my quests. God damn it! Let me check my my quests. Okay, that's easy to achieve. <laughs> I failed that one. Ooh, this one is going to be tricky. I think I should have. I had the opportunity to do that on the archers, but now it's. Hmm. Okay, I obviously don't want the rat to die. I could go invisible and make one of them go invisible and smack the guy in front of me. Let's go. Oh, that was huge. That was huge. No, what am I doing? God damn it. So I'm going to heal. Oh, I cannot heal the boots. Shoot. Hmm. Oh well. It's not a waste, but it's not ideal. Let's take over the cards. That's it. Now you, my friends. I can't, I could push him there, but sure. Why not? And I go invisible. 
and wait wait I'm just seeing so next turn I can heal a little bit and CC one guy so I don't need to recover a card with the potion no we are so low in HP it's if I move forward I yeah I'm going to get screwed Well, I could move forward and just nuke this guy. And then this guy will go for the Mystic Ally, which will die. I could just burn him with the special card, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take the risk. Oh, but this one will move as well. One, two. It's fine, it's two, right? Yeah. It's a bit risky, but... Screw it. Boom. Damn, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, goodbye, my friends. You did a lot of damage. Okay, we need to heal up. I'm only missing four guys. And my brute is almost dead. Um, So I can heal up and stun someone. Well, stun this one. Yep. Shit. I did a mistake. I should have um, uh, recovered the ally. Such a waste opportunity there. Uh, we can definitely uh, debuff them all again. Well, not all. Almost. Uh, but I don't think it's the best option. This would be great if I was here. One, two, three, four. Uh, not perfect, but still good. This one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we need to move one forward to use full value of this. Uh, I can move forward with. I need to do this early, so I need to use this one. God damn it, 15, and then get shields. That's not good. So I can definitely mobilize one of them. I can immobilize... They will not move, correct? They will not move. So actually mobilizing is useless. Uh... Sure. It was bad, because I was ranged, I should have gone for that one. I'm going to open this door, just to see what's here. That was a mistake. And moving back was another mistake, because now I'm losing my stealth. Yep. Double mistake.
Glass. Okay. Let's do some damage here. One, two, three, one, two, three, yeah, that's fine. Let's stop this. Oh, you blessed. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I... I just need to kill these guys... Yesterday. Sure. No, short rest. I have no other choice here. I need to burn them down ASAP. Uh, this one is actually much easier to kill, but it's a bit funny. So I could burn this one, Wolf Attack. Uh, This one I can use to stun and then I can force someone to attack but they need to be close and there is actually not a single enemy close to each other. I could also go invisible and avoid uh, a bunch of damage I guess. Yep, yeah, I'll do that. And you, you are going to try to do as much damage as you can again. If I see one, two, three, four, uh, I would like to eat all of them. And this one, uh, we get these three. Yeah. Oh, but this healing would be amazing on our big guy. We don't want to lose them, so let's hope they don't go too early. Okay, so this could be good. Yeah, this could be good. So, um, let's eat and stun someone. So this guy becomes useless this round. That's fine. Oh my god, I did a mistake again. Whatever. Kill him. Again, the stupid mistake of uh, not doing the right order. This guy would be dead. Damn it! So I can... Like this... It's like I have four miss cards and not one. Jesus. Now I can heal him for a lot. Or with this I could try to save his HP. Uh, because they all will be models. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I think it's actually okay to do that. A miss and a minus two? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. 
Thank you. Okay. So this is getting really, really bad right now. This is the end game. God damn it, this is probably the only one I didn't want to lose. But I'm too low HP to play here. I'm going for damage. I need to kill them. Um... I can definitely use this bottom one. And maybe just this. Uh, I think I need to go early actually. Sure. I don't have many options here, so... So now is the time that this card will do a lot. Oh, they're all going to attack from range. Okay, wait, so... If I do this, I can still heal the guy. Um, Okay, I just need to kill one more. Where it goes. Wait, 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 wait. I would like to do at least the quest of the rats. Have three or fewer total cards in your hand and discard pile. Ooh. I'm not going to do it at five. Shit. Oh, this is useless now, actually, because they are too far away from each other again. Crap. Ooh, wait, 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 what the... Move one, attack two. Move one, attack two. Yeah. Force one, normal hit enemy, within range three. So I can make this one, attack this one. Sure. I'm just thinking about XP. And I go for this guy like this. If I kill this guy, the turn is over. Do I want to hold off just to get more XP? I think I do. I, uh, I think I will do that. I will get some XP. Um, it should be fine. There you go. It's okay. Oh shit, we won anyway. <laughs> Running Damn it. through the forest, fleeing the smell of burning flesh, you now find more than enough opportunity to contemplate your actions. Not a single one. Shoot. But I did many mistakes, so I know for a fact this scenario could go much better. Mainly in the end, like this final part, I did so many mistakes.
your actions sit with you must be visible on your face as you meet once more with Jexera, this time in her manor. She hands you a sack of coins with a frown. They were thieves and murderers, she says blankly. They deserved what you gave them, and that is all I will say of the matter. I have one more task I would like you to perform. I require a diamond of considerable size for a customer, but I cannot find one anywhere in the city. There is a diamond mine, however, in the southern mountains long since lost to the wilderness. I've heard reports that it is now overrun with vermlings, no doubt with some other more intelligent force behind them. If you can fight your way in and grab the biggest diamond you can find, I will give you a considerable reward. Now, leave me in peace. Jaxera's two massive Inox bodyguards step forward, directing you to leave the manor. Outside, contemplating your new task, you hear a small voice behind you. She's not looking for profit, you know. You turn mm -hmm. around to see a female quattrel step out of the alley beside Jaxera's house. She's clad in dark leather armor, Jeez, city guard, she says, introducing herself. I know, I don't exactly look the part, but if anyone isn't what they appear to be, it's that Valrath you've been talking to. Sure, she's a merchant, but she's up to something far more sinister. She's been trying to overthrow the military in Gloomhaven for as long as I've been here, and we're all very curious about what her current machinations are. Look, you can go do her bidding like a good little puppy if you want. But if you'd rather actually help this town keep the peace and not get overrun by the wilds, I have a different idea. We'll get to the bottom of Jexera's plans and expose her for who she really is. Good. Okay. If I remember right from the board game, 